All right, in this problem, we've got 34 base 5 times 2 base 5. Okay, so the strategy we're going to take here is we're going to distribute um, first by rewriting the 34 base 5 as 30 plus 4 base 5 uh, plus 2 base 5. Okay, and we're going to distribute that. Um, this should be times, sorry. Um, we're going to distribute that into this parentheses here. So you would get 60 base 5 plus 8 base 5. Okay, so obviously we're in base 5, so those two numbers won't work for us. Uh, so we need to convert them into something that is workable in base 5. So for the 60, um, remember you can only have as big a number as a 4 when you have base 5. So we need to subtract a 5 from this digit and then add 1 to the next digit over. Okay, so that would be 1, 1, 0, base 5. And then on this one, we do the same thing. We subtract a 5, but add 1 to the digit to the left of it. Um, so we would get 1, 3, base 5. Okay, and when we add those two together, we get 1, 2, 3, base 5. Okay, uh, let's do another one. Let's do uh, 34 base 5 again, but this time let's divide uh, by 2 base 5. See how we would approach this problem. Okay, so the way I like to approach these problems is I, I like to just write out the multiples of the divisor. Okay, so we've got 2 in base 5, so I'm just going to write out um, 2 plus 2 plus 2 and see the, the the sequential numbers that come when we when we keep adding these two base fives. So the first one is going to be two. The next one, two plus two is four. Remember, this is in base five. Okay. The next one would be six. Okay, but remember we're in base five, so you can't have a six. So we convert the six into base five by subtracting five from this and adding one to the number to the left. Okay. So if we subtract five from that, it becomes a one. We add a number to the left, so that becomes a one one. So eleven. Okay, now we add another 2, we keep going, so that would be 13 base 5. The next one would be, if we add 2 more, 15 base 5. 15 is too big in base 5, uh, so we would need to subtract 1 from the 5 here. It would become a 0, and add 1 to the digit, so that would become a 2. So this cross out becomes 2, 0. Okay, keep adding 2, so we get 22, that one's fine, 22 base 5. Next one would be 24 base 5. Okay, let's drop down here. Next one would be 26 base 5. That one is too big. So we subtract one from or subtract 5 from this one and add one over here. So that becomes 1. We add 1, 3, 31. Okay, and then we add two more. That would be 33, and that's enough. Because if we do two more, it will be uh, 35, and that's more than 34. Okay, so we know, we can see how many multiples go, and we just count them. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. Okay, so 2 base 5 went into 34 base 5 9 times. But that's 9 times in base 10. Okay, that's 9 times in base 10. So, and, and a remainder of 1. So this goes in 9 times with a remainder of 1. But we need to convert, we need to change that... Um, nine times into a number that's workable for us so we look at the we look at the nine and remember okay we're in base five not base nine so that's in one digit in base five okay remainder one so we need to do what we've done over here we subtract five and we add one over to the next digit so if i subtract five that becomes a four and then the next digit becomes a one in base five that is workable so 14 base 5 remainder 1 is your answer. Okay. Uh, let's do another one. Let's do 33 base 6 times 30 base 6. Okay. Uh, we'll do this the same way we did this one up here. The first one, we will rewrite this as 30 plus 3 base 6 times... 30 plus 0, base 6. Okay, and we can distribute this out. So 30 times 30 equals 900. 900 in base 6. Um, let's see, 3 times 30 is 90. 
base 6. And then if we multiply times a 0, well, we'll just get a 0. So we won't do those two. 30 times 0 is 0. That's gone. Thirty or 3 times 0 is 0. So that's gone. So we've just got the 900 base 6 plus the 90 base 6. Obviously, the 9 and the 9 here can't, can't be written in base 6. So since we're in base 6, we'll subtract a 6 from this digit and add 1 to the digit to the left. So here's the 1 that I'm adding. And then I subtract 6 from that, and it becomes a 3. So we get 1300. Zero, zero base 6 and do the same thing here subtract 6 and add 1 to the left so plus 1 3 0 6 okay add those two together and we get let's see the 1 goes here with 3 so 14 30 base 6 okay uh, let's try another devising problem dividing problem so let's get uh, we have 113 base 5 divided by 3 base 5. Okay, so if you recall how we did this a few minutes ago, uh, the way I do it is I write out the multiples of 3 in base 5. Okay, so we can start with 3, 6. 6 is too big in base 5, so subtract 5, add 1 to the digit to the left, so that becomes 1, 1. Okay. Um, add 3 to that and we get 14. That one's fine. The next one will be 17. That one's not fine. So we subtract 5 here. That becomes a 2. Add 1 over here. So this becomes uh, 2, 2. Okay. Add 3 more and you get 25. Again, that one's no good because 5 is too big in base 5. So we subtract 5. That becomes a 0. And this one becomes a um, 3. So this one becomes a 30. Okay. Next one is 33. That one's fine. Next one will be 36. That one is not fine. So we cross that out. Subtract one, or subtract uh, five here. That becomes a one. Add one here. So that's 41. Okay. Uh, the next one will be 44. That one's fine. The next one would be let's drop down here. 47. That one's not fine. So cross that out. Subtract five. That becomes a two. Add one. That becomes a five. And that one is also no good because the 5 is too big now, okay? So we subtract 5 there and add 1 here. So 2, 0, 1, 102, okay? So if we add 3 to 102, we get 105, which of course the 5 is too big. Subtract, add 1, and we get 110. And then we add 3 to that, we get 113. So it goes in evenly this time. Okay, we just have to count how many we wrote here. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. So we wrote down 11 times. So 3 base 5 goes into 113 base 5 11 times. Okay, so 11 in base 5 is, again, um, that's, that's too many. And this is a remainder of 0. Okay, so you can't have an 11 in one single spot. Now, if this were multiple spots, if it was 1, 1 base 5, you'd be fine. But it isn't 1, 1 base 5. It's 11 is in one digit there. 11 is way too big. Just, just like if it was a 9 in that digit, you would have to subtract 5 and then add a 1 to the left. So if we subtract 5 from this 11, what does it become? Okay, it becomes a 6. We add 1 here. So that's 16 base 5, remainder 0. But that is still too big. The 6 is too big. Okay, so we have to subtract 5 again and add one that becomes a two here and a one there so we get 21 to one base five remainder zero is your solution okay uh, let's do one in base two one zero one one zero in base two divided by one zero in base two okay so let's write out a few digits of this uh, one zero base two so the first one 10 that one's fine the next one would be 20 okay remember we're in base 2 now so you can't have any number bigger than a 1 so you subtract 2 you add 1 to the next digit that becomes 1 0 0 okay the next one would be 1 10 that one's fine but 120 is not fine okay so you subtract 2 from that that becomes a 0 add 1 that becomes 200 whoops that one's too big as well the 2 is too big so you subtract 2, add 1, so that becomes 1, 0, 0, 0. Okay, the next one will be 1, 0, 1, 0, because we're just adding 10. OK, 
Okay, that one is fine. Uh, one zero two zero is not fine. So we do what we did earlier right here. We cross that out and it becomes one zero zero. So that is one one zero zero. Okay, when do we stop? Do we just keep going? Well, well, you stop when you get bigger than this number here. Okay, and we're not. This is four digits. That's five digits. So let's keep going. So we get one 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 zero because I'm adding ten to this one. Okay, that one is fine. One one two zero is not fine. Okay, so I have to subtract this, turn it into a zero, and then add one here. So that becomes one two zero zero, also not fine. So it becomes two zero zero zero, also not fine. Okay, so this becomes one zero 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 zero. Okay. Our next one we would be one zero zero one zero. We're adding ten to this one. That one's fine. Um, then we get uh, 10020, zero, zero, which would turn into 10100 zero, 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 when we subtract 2 and add 1 to the digit there. Okay, are we getting close to this one? It looks like our next one will do it. Okay, so one more here. Uh, I'm running out of room, so I'll put it down here. It would be 10110. Zero, one, one, zero. That's our last one. Okay, so it's exact. There's no remainder this time. How many do we have? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. So it goes in 11 times, just like a previous problem did. Okay, so we have 11, and that's in one digit. That's not 1, 1. That is 11 in one digit, base 2, uh, remainder 0. Okay, so we got to take care of this. Okay, so um, how, many, how many times can we subtract 2 from that? Okay, 2, 4, 6, 8. 10, that's five times, okay? So I'll subtract two and add one, subtract two, add one, subtract two, add one, subtract two, add one. Keep doing that five times. So I move five over here, and when I subtract this five times, how many is left? That would be one, okay? So 51 base two, remainder zero. That is still too big because the uh, the five is way too big. So let's let's do it again. We'll subtract a couple from the five, and add a couple over here. So subtract two, subtract two again, that becomes a one. And we put two here. So minus two, minus two, add one, add one. So two, one, one, base two, remainder zero. Still not quite there yet because the two is too big. So we only have to do it one more time. Okay, so subtract one and add one uh, to the left digit. So it'd be one, zero, one, one, base two, remainder zero.